space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, a new civilization, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hi, and welcome back. So, if you saw my um, last video, I got the strut moving. But I'll put a photo up and you'll notice that I've had to change where the servos are. The servo was around here. When I tried to fit two, it wouldn't work. I lost, it created a funny, sort of went like that to try to get the rods moving. I lost a centimetre of rod and it made a big difference. So, um, I've had to put a little uh, drop down piece of styrene, I've cut out some of the over here um, to get it to a different angle. I'll put a picture up of how the mechanism did look up in this um, top le left corner. And if you bear with me two minutes, I'll show you how I've got the mechanism now to make this work. I'll undo this tape because it's all only taped together at the moment. So I've got um, two high-tech HS14 nano servers back to back. So obviously one facing this way, one facing that way. Um, got... 1.5 mil piece of brass rod that I've had to drill a groove into here for it to pass through that goes into the nacelle that has a piece of 3 mil tubing under here to pass it through to keep it in a straight line I've put another piece of 3 mil tubing on the end so it fills the gap in between inside the the cell strut. Um, I'm using the three mil tubing as well to replace the plastic hinge that came in the kit, because obviously that'd be too long. So I can cut this to length, so I don't interfere with the rod. And I've also cut a channel for wires to go through. Um, that's how many wires have to go into the, <laughs> into the cells. So I've just taped it together as a bundle so I can test it working. Um, I had to, one, one second, take some of these pieces off. So I've cut out uh, most of that piece of plastic there. I've left a little gap around it, so there's still room for the hole to connect into place. But I had to drop it down a couple of millimetres, so the rods would uh, go through at the correct at the correct um, height. Um, so my next stage is going to be getting the second the cell strut on and get both of them working together. So I'll get cutting some more pieces of metal to size, get it fitted in and we'll have a look at both pieces going. Right, so I've got the second strut attached now. Um, did exactly the same as I did on the first one. So 1.5 mil rods coming out of the servo. Goes through a tiny piece of 3 mil tubing to hold it straight. Drilled hole through here. Then it goes into the, the cell strut. Um, the angle the rod's bent at is 40 degrees because that's what um, 
angle the nacelles go up to. Um, and obviously another uh, tiny piece of 3mm tube was on the end of the rod. Um, so anyone else doing this, I hope this is really helpful how to motorise the nacelles. Um, my next step is getting my software finished because um, all the lighting to put in the in here impulse engines to light up um, nav lights collision lights um, lights in this back section lots to do to get this ready to even start painting or put or actually sticking together properly so for this time i'm going to say thank you for watching keep trekking and keep modeling thank you bye bye